if they get the power to take your password, you might as well put it nothing on there with the bare essentials. Corey Nash is a sophomore at John Wood Community College and like many students his age, a social network user. While he says he has nothing to hide from prospective employers, he still thinks having to divulge his password during an interview is infringing on his First Amendment right. But that may not be true. The right to say what you want, the right of free speech, is not absolute. As the old saying goes, uh, the right of free speech does not mean that you can yell fire in a crowded theater. So, so there are limits. And employers are trying to set those limits with prospective employees by managing their social media accounts. They often are known in their community for working there, so they want that person to behave appropriately. So they're looking at that to see what kind of behavior that person's had in the past. But a proposed bill amendment to the Right to Privacy in the Workplace Act would make asking a prospective employee for account information to access a social network site illegal. State Representative Jill Tracy initially opposed the bill amendment, but after her suggested changes were accepted, she is now in support. A potential employer would have the ability to um, see the names that you use on social media, you know, so that they would, would know what was out there and we felt like that was a reasonable compromise and fair. But until the bill passes, job seekers and social media users should be cautious, even if your profile is private. They need to start being very careful that they only post things on there they would be happy to see on a bulletin board in the hallway. And if they wouldn't want to see it there, then they shouldn't put it on Facebook either. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News, Quincy.